Alright. What's up everybody? Joy's back at it. As you can see, I've had a few attempts here at a new bracket. Now, uh, I've been talking about adding a CNC to this machine for a while. And, uh, excuse me, a cutter to make this essentially a CNC. Um, however, I uh, have not had the time. So I've taken the time right now just to uh, get a little head start. So here's my first one. As you can see, one arm just broke off. A little thin. I had an angled profile. As you can see there. Here's a failed print. Same idea. Uh, angled profile. This is the beginning of it. As you can see there. So. And then it just stopped for some reason. I want to go touch something on my computer and the USB froze me up. So, then I printed it out again, this time with support. A little different um, on the top here, but, uh, well, anyways, this one still came out the same, but as you can see, the support makes it look ugly, so, yeah. And then I redesigned it this time, um, but. I ended up doing it with uh, supports and, well, it doesn't look that good, right? So once you have it all cleaned up, and now I've printed this, no supports, as you can see there. It's a beautiful bracket. I've drilled one hole in there. So as you can see, I can insert an Allen wrench. I have trimmed off the front end of this down two lines coming up uh, from this end. You can see here's the first line, the second line. I hit the third line and used my file just to kind of hit the back like that to get the plastic thin enough to the point where I started penetrating. Came back around with the knife, cleaned it up, pulled off the front end, and then I filed it and sanded it. So pretty much you can pop this out snap it back in place, right? Uh, it is a little tricky. You have to load this front collar first in here, squeeze it into the hole, flatten it down. You'll take this part of the shaft and you'll be up much higher. Oops, let me pull that. So, right here is where I am normally mounted. Pop that off, and you could pull, and you would be able to pull it out. But, however, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to push it forward. As you can see, it just popped up. So, I have now a flex shaft, as you can see here. Turn the flex shaft. This cost me about 30 bucks on sale, Harbor Freight. Uh, here's a better picture of it. Comes with one little grinder bit. Um, you have a small grinder, so I mean it's a plus. And then the cool thing about it is, in, well, I mean it's not that good, but the I can upgrade this control with an Andrino, but I can get up to 10,000 RPMs with the control 0 to 10, it says, so it's pretty much like 0 to 100, then it goes from 100 to 10,000. So, <laughs> somewhere in the range from the three-quarter spot to full blast, um, or 11, as Av would say. Or spinal tap fan, uh, fans, anyways. So, comes with this uh, cable as you can see and has a little grinder bit. Now on the front end it's actually made so that when you're holding it your hand doesn't touch the nut. So we don't want that here. I've since trimmed it out so I can adjust it. Now I'm going to take the screws off right here. Side. 
and demonstration purposes. Nits and giggles, we'll just place it up there for right now. And 